So I'm glad you stopped by because we're doing something a little different here. I haven't opened this box yet and I'm gonna do a live first impressions unboxing and setup with you right here. So out of the interest of time, let's get started. And also what's going on, it's Low Flow Nose back at you with another tech take. And this is the SIS, what is it called again? The Zysono Podcast Bundle, live sound card, wired condenser microphone. It's got a boom arm, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get straight into it, shall we? All right, so we've got our, of course, our live sound card user manual. We've got that there. Our broadcast phone uh, specs, it's a, well, it says unidirectional, but it's actually a, cardio, uh, a cardioid uh, condenser microphone. And here is your frequency response. Honestly, if you ask me, it looks like it's kind of all over the place. Uh, but again, yeah, 20, 20, uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So yeah, um, as frequency response, no, sensitivity 45 output, 15 ohms, equivalent noise level 16 dBA and so on. I'm sure that makes sense. Let's take a look at the microphone and holy <laughs> snap. I was not expecting this. Yo, this is like a, this dude is like a, 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 a chunky boy, man. <laughs> look at this thing. Okay, so this is the big microphone. All right, hopefully uh, the sound matches uh, the size of the microphone. Oh, we got a cool little XLR cable here as well. Kind of like almost a little transparent. All right, let's go. Of course, we got our shock mount for said microphone, which feels like it's, it's like sealed in here. All right. Okay, so we got that there. Let me go ahead and just put it there right now. Okay, I'll just... All right, got it. All right, and of course we have our, our, our all-in-one sound card, our audio interface. We've got some headphones. We've got two stereo cables. These are both three prong. So this can do live cell recording pass through. So we can, you know, call someone and have a conversation with them. Of course, we'll do a test later on through this video. We've got a USB here for either a data cable or charging this. This is battery powered. Our desk tamp, our desk clamp, and of course our Um, boom arm here to go. All right, so let's set this up at the for the interest of time I want to respect your time. I don't want to take too long So I may do some quick cuts in the interest of a uh, just kind of not going through the whole setup process. So Okay, so that was fast. Just set up my microphone on my tripod. It's holding it pretty well. These are uh, these uh, the, the tightening part here. They they hold it pretty tight. Uh, I do wish it had some kind of ties to hold down the wire. As of right now, it looks kind of sloppy. But you know, yeah. Oh, oh, I should probably lock this down right here as well. All right. So let's take a look at the inputs that this that this supports. Let's flip it over. Okay, of course we have our XLR cable that we can connect our microphone to. We also have a dynamic micro microphone port. Uh, it's your uh, 6.5, no, 6.35 millimeter uh, port for holding dynamic mics. You can do a conden condenser one and a condenser two microphone right here. Of course, these are not XLR. These are different types of microphones. Uh, your headset, we can put your headphones. You have your headset and earphone. You got me there. Uh, maybe this is for two people. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you have a live one and live two. This is where you're gonna connect your smartphone so you can make telephone calls or pass through uh, Zoom calls through there. You also have your OTG and your PC live. I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but this is your data cable to connect to your PC or maybe your tablet or your smartphone. Whatever is gonna connect to your USB-C device, you can use that as, this is your interface, and of course that goes to connect to whatever is going to be your uh, dig digital workstation. And of course you have your charging port right there. So let me connect my microphone in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna connect this to my, let me get my headphones on. My headphones and my earphones, as of right now I can't tell the difference. And woo, man, these look really long. Always like a good, generously long pair of uh, earbuds or headphones. You know, so you're not always, you're not like this, you know, because of a short cord. Although whenever they're really long, it tends to become a bird's nest of a sort when you're trying to get it out. So you gotta be pretty careful. I'm trying to get that right here. All right, so 
I'm not really sure which one is right or left, but I'm just gonna go with it. And I think I'm gonna do headphones. Headphones or headset. There we go. We'll put that in right there. Okay, so we're getting there. Okay, I'm not gonna charge. I'm not gonna connect it to a PC. And I'm gonna connect this directly to my audio recorder. And I can either choose, let's see, so, condenser, dynamic out, headset, earphone. Okay, so these are both out. So I'm gonna go earphone here. My main out will be my headset. I'll do it like that. Interesting how they had it enabled like that. Normally you would have like headphones or monitor out. I'll connect this directly to my recorder. All right, so this is our first test of what this sounds like. And let's start with the interface. Of course, you've got your mic volume right here and you can see the lights adjusting, uh, the fader adjusting with it as I play with the knob. Uh, of course, this is your music session that's going on right here, whatever's playing through there. Of course, you have a reverb. That's also being affected right here with the reverb. We will go to that later. You're also gonna affect the uh, treble. So I'm gonna add some treble, um, maybe some bass to my voice, maybe sweeten on my voice just a little bit. And yeah, I'll leave it right there. You also have an accompany button. This is your audio. This is another audio source as we saw in the back. Yeah, that pop, that accompany port in the back. So maybe you can use like an MP3 play or a smartphone to bring audio in. This will bring, this will actually play with the levels of that source coming in. Your monitor, this is my monitor actually going out to my recording device. So I can adjust the, uh, the, the overall levels of what's coming from this device into my recorder using the record uh, using the monitor and of course the record button that's a different separate one maybe if i want to have speakers go onto my monitor i can do that and i can also have a, a separate recording fader right there as well now you'll see here we'll have several different modes we have a primal sound this is all for vocal right we also have a pomp sound which plays with the effects there and we have a karaoke mode as well where you we can play with that this activates the reverb sound so i can add some more reverb into the signal yeah, and of course, and I just pressed that on to turn off. I also female a, voice. A vo voice changer where you can change to a female as you heard. Male voice. This is the male voice. Man, that sounds ultra manly, manly, manly. Uh. Lolly voice. Uh, lolly voice? What is a lolly voice? Is that like a lollipop? Is that what you're saying? Well, all right, so that's your lolly voice. Monster voice. Oh, this is a monster voice, yeah. This is also alien voice and other things, but we'll go for monster. Female voice. And female voice. This does not sound like female. Next one, male voice. And here's your male voice back at the beginning. Let's go to the next mode. This is electric sound. Um, all right, so yeah, it does kind of sound like electric-y, I guess. Um, oh no, I, I bet electric-y is more of the, that's right, it's like an auto-tune right here. So if I probably go on, yeah, you can hear the auto-tech phone. So if I ever wanted to sing, or if you want to sing or record some music and you're out of tune, the auto mode or electric sound will actually help you out. All right, next mode. This is our recording studio mode. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is like a, it's got a reverb and there's probably some EQ there. And if you want to sing, oh man, I'm singing right now. You know, a little reverb and echo will always help anybody. Then we have our MC mode. And okay, so this is like here if you're maybe in an event center and of course you're an MC on the microphone. Everybody get ready on the one, twos, and threes. It just kind of adds like a, a big room uh, reverb effect to your voice as if you're an MC. And you have your pro mode. I would only, whoa, why would you want this for your pro mode? All right, so this is your pro mode where it sounds like it adds a little EQ compression with some reverb as well to give you a bigger voice. Of course, I could always take off the reverb mode. I just realized I had the reverb mode on, so let's go backwards. MC mode, yeah, I just took off the reverb. Recording mode, I just took off the reverb. So yeah, we can actually keep that in mind. Let's go right back around back to primal mode. And there we go. This is your primal mode with no reverb. So it looks like the reverb just affects the, um, the yeah, pop, karaoke, uh, uh, recording studio, MC, and pro. Let's move to the right. We'll see some other effects buttons for our voice. Reverb, get off. Uh, you have your denoise here. Of course, if your voice, if you're getting a lot of background noise in the background, or maybe hissing or line noise, you can use the denoise to help alleviate that. And also it adds like a gate. So when I'm not talking, it gets really silent. So as of right now, the denoise sounds like it's pretty effective. You also have eliminate. I completely forgot what eliminate was. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah. 
Uh, eliminate is I want to. Okay, need. Okay, denoise off. Turn off. Thank you very much. Uh, eliminate. What this does is, you if you have any source coming into this device right here, it'll actually. If I press it, everything's cut off except the microphone. So it's kind of like a hard stop on everything. There we go. Eliminate uh, that. Oh, you have a denoise number two and a denoise number three. Again, different kind of um, uh, different noise cancellation filter is going on here. Of course, you have your mute button, uh, forward play, and, and you have back play and forward. This is when it's connected to your Bluetooth. And of course, you have your ducking here as well. Let's go ahead and connect my Bluetooth to this as well. The, the ducking, of course, is if you have some kind of music play in the background, it'll actually bring down the levels of the music down as you're speaking. So let's, again, let's set up the Bluetooth here. Bluetooth connected. And there we go, it's connected. All right, so let's find some music. And there we go. All right, so now if I bring on the ducking, we're gonna wait for it to swell up. All right, now, as soon as I press the ducking, when I start talking, you're gonna hear the volume actually start going down. And I turn it off, of course it's back in, now I'm competing with it, but I can also play with the, oh. I can use the accompany to bring the volume down of my Bluetooth audio that's going through right there. What else we have? Okay, so let's, I'm gonna turn that a little down. Uh, now we also have our internal play. Internal play is like your loop back with the voices like this, meaning that by default, if you're recording to your PC, yeah, your PC is going to be your digital workstation where it'll just record everything coming into here. But if you have some effects coming from your PC that you want to loop into this audio device and go back and record to your PC, you're going to press the internal play so it can play from the PC, loop it through the audio device, and then right back to the PC so you have everything intact right there. Okay, now you have different audio effects as here. So you've got a giggle. Let me bring this up. Uh, that's a hearty laugh. That's not a giggle. Oh, no, so, okay. That's not a yell. That's a shout, but it calls it a yell. And you have a slash. That's a slap. That's not a slash. Come on. You have a din din. What's a din din? Ding, ding, ding. Okay, it looks like that's the first one they got, right? 9277. Is that like 90210, but this is kind of like fashion town, I guess. Guys? I love it. You guys are so great. That was misleading. Awkward. <laughs> that was awkward. Din? <laughs> you got to explain to me the translations of these labels. Whoa. What just happened? The music's playing. Laughter. <laughs> That's a hearty laugh. Was that same as giggle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Applause. Oh, thank you so much. What do you guys think about the live sound card so far? The PUBG? It's gotta be gunshots. Okay, if that's the PUBG, okay, and cheer. And there you go. All right, so that is it. That is our run through of the Zai Sono podcast bundle kit with a microphone, the boom arm, and all this right here. Yeah, first time using it, pretty simple. Now it's just up to your creativity to, yeah, to see what you can do with it. It's all up to you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all of this. I'm gonna put on my computer. I'm gonna start putting this video together. I'm gonna share with you my final thoughts the sound of the microphone and really start thinking about what do I like? What do I think would be better? And things like that to give you a little more uh, deeper insight. Uh, I swear I've reviewed tons of these all in one interfaces. So I want to give you my final thoughts on this. All right, hang out. Oh snap, no, I can't go away just yet. I just forgot I have to make a phone call to my wife or maybe my son uh, with this kit. All right, uh, we're going to go to live one. So we are connected. Now let's call the child. Oh man, it's a bit of a bird's nest here. First ring on the million dollar goal. Hey, Dad. hey Lucas. Hey, I'm doing one of those videos where I'm trying to see an audio interface and I'm giving you a call. All right. 
Okay. Uh, how do I sound on your end? Um, very clear. <laughs> <laughs> laughing clear? Yeah. <laughs> they're laughing at you. Oh, oh, they're laughing at me, not with me? Yep. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to make sure this works, and it did work just fine. I appreciate your help. I'm getting paid for this, right? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, would this be the video that he gets paid? Yes, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> will this be the video he gets paid? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I did not. I was looking for a wonk wonk. Does it have a wonk wonk? I should have done that one. All right, no. is this the video he gets paid? Yeah. All right, your buck seventy-five is in the mail. Buck seventy-five. Yes. I expect interest with that. Oh my gosh! Yes, it'll be very interesting. All right, thank you so much, Lucas. Okay. Bye. You're welcome. Love Bye. You. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm back. Let me give you my final thoughts. Uh, first of all, I wish I left most of the previous video on the pop sound effect. Sound effect or vocal effect, to me, that gave the most present, fullest, impressive uh, voice voice mode throughout this entire thing. Yeah, I was like, ooh, wow, that's nice. Um, also, I was probably uh, a bit too hot, so keep in mind that uh, this does run a little hot, so make sure you check your levels. Of course, that was my first time. I thought it was good, but yeah. Um, overall, this is a decent podcasting uh, uh, device. I would definitely recommend this for the young for the young ones. Why, Bill? Because it says, has everything they'll ever need. You got the microphone, you got the, uh, the boom arm stand, you got an XLR cord, you've got two wires that they can connect their smartphone and have fun with that, all the effects you can. Cable connections for your PC so you can route audio into that. Again, just have so much fun. You can connect this to your Xbox, your PlayStation, your Switch, whatever. Bring all of that into the system and just have some fun communicating. Of course, add some silly of uh, vocal effects as well. And of course, to give yourself a good to give yourself a good audio quality, you have everything here is like the denoise and and, and etc. Um, if I had some kind of Things I'd like to improve. Uh, number one, the feel and the build of this. I'm gonna let you know it feels like a toy. All right. Um, well, the mic, the, the mic out of everything feels like the most premium thing on all out of all of this. The, the audio interface here, it does feel kind of like toyish. But on, on top of that, I do love the RGB effects going on here. I mean, this thing is just impressive. You know, you've got like a little light show going on here. So, you know, I, the kids are definitely gonna. It's def, they're gonna. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna feel cool, and they're definitely gonna be like, yeah, you know. That's pretty cool. This is my first podcasting or audio interface rig, and yeah, it kind of makes like a cool little light show. Uh, as far as as far as that, you know, yeah, I, I would definitely say this is an entry level podcast bundle. Doesn't mean it's a bad pod, podcast bundle, but just know what you're getting into. This is definitely an entry level podcast bundle. You can connect higher quality microphones to it, um, but you're gonna have to do a little work around as well. All right, guys, really hope this video helped you out. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Zysono podcast bundle. Also, hit that subscribe button. Please support the channel so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here. And also, ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. All right. Let's, uh, let's start a podcast. Should I start a podcast? I don't know. Hmm.